Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 16-year-old female. She had a pre-op x-ray to get knee surgery, and they just happened to catch a bone tumor up here in the femur. So this is the femur. This is the distal metaphysis here, and we see this um, lesion that fills the medullary cavity. This is a stir sequence. It's hyperintense in the stir. We see these sharply defined margins, and it's hyperintense, kind of mixed hyperintense stir signal intensity, but really sharply defined lobulated margins. On this T1-weighted sequence, we see that there is some fatty marrow centrally within it. We see that the cortex is thin along the back, lateral, and anterior parts. The medial side is kind of funny lobulated, so there's endosteal scalloping and thinning, but there's also marrow within this. When we go superiorly, we get into the normal marrow, normal cortex. Distally, we see this funny area of darkness here. This is bony sclerosis along the inferior margin, so it has marrow elements, endosteal scalloping, looks like it's minimally expansile and it has this dark area down here in the bottom. This is a T2-weighted sequence, so it'll look very, very similar to the T1-weighted sequence. There's no fluid pockets within it. This is a coronal T1-weighted sequence. We see that funny marrow coming down, going right into it. You see the endosteal scalloping. You see that low signal uh, sclerotic component down here distally, and if we put up the sagittal image here, we see the same thing. This looks kind of peculiar. You can see that nice, clean, sharply defined margins. There's no edema within the cortex, no perilesional edema, and you can see the endosteal scalloping, minimal expansion. Here's that, again, uh, fibrous area down here and um, bone sclerosis. So one last view here. This is just a, another PD fat set sequence here. You can see the sharply defined margins, endosteal scalping, and lack of uh, perilesional edema. So this is a classic uh, look of a fibrous dysplasia. And uh, sometimes the bone can be larger. A lot of times it's angled. There's no angling of this. But just the sharply defined margins, the uh, narrow zone of transition, they had uh, mixed areas of uh, bone sclerosis. And their intermediate signal and the normal marrow just uh, looks like fibrous dysplasia. Can't tell for sure, but uh, other lesions that are non aggressive, like an enchondroma, that would be also common, just wouldn't have this marrow going with into it like this. And it would be more ovoid and it wouldn't have the bone sclerosis along the bottom. You'd see these speckled calcifications or uh, chondroid matrix within it. And so with an x ray and this MRI, I think they can confidently say that it's a non aggressive lesion, probably fibrous dysplasia, and they We'll probably um, shell it out and pack it with marrow and uh, just prevent her from getting a pathologic fracture someday. And that's it. Thank you very much.